Of course, Gareth Southgate, some months ago, dropped by to uh, the news building in London and joined me in studio live on Talk Sport on that occasion. And we spoke about those very subjects. Where might success take him in the Euros? What would failure lead to? And Gareth, he was quite blunt. I think that depends on how you define success because where the team were in 2016 and the sort of team that we went with in 2018 and to get as far as we did in 2018 and people will talk about the opposition and we didn't beat Belgium but when we played Belgium we'd already qualified and when we played them again it was a third fourth playoff where we'd played only two days before so you'll always be judged as an England manager on the the how you go on in tournaments and the games where you go out there'll be a, a, an analysis at a level that's beyond anything that any club is going to have we've of course analyzed all of that and we've improved as we've gone on you know we improved from that world cup in russia to the euros i think we were able to change and be more on the front foot in uh, in this world cup mm. the, the profile of the team is changing and evolving team is still improving that's all we can aim to do we, we've got to keep aiming to get better and if you're in those latter stages in the end England will win a tournament I mean the short and the tall of it is this uh, Gabby no one more than Gareth Southgate knows what what needs to happen for England to get their hands on this trophy do you see Gareth standing by those players at the end of this tournament with that trophy. All things being equal, do you see this as Gareth's moment and as England's moment? Oh, a question, Jim. Listen, as an England fan, of course, that's what I want. We all want. And we've got to be positive. We've got the players to go and do it, like Simon says. If the, the attacking players, midfielders, can get their goal-scoring boots on, do their job defensively, we're sound. Why, why shouldn't we? You know, do we want to look back in 15 years and say, yep, yeah, you know, another golden generation, didn't win anything? No, we don't because we've got the talent. We've got a squad of 26 without Grealish, Madison, Rashford. Come on, they probably walk into like every squad apart from France. Right. So like the players that we've so got available, we should be going to win this tournament. We're favourites. We should yeah. be winning it. But has he got the right... Is he coaching them right? Is he setting them up right? Is he picking the right team? Is he picking it too defensive? Is he making the right subs at the right time? If all that can be right from Southgate, then why shouldn't we go and win the tournament? You see, whenever we talk about this, Simon, many many fans will call in and say, as exactly as, uh, as Gabby articulated it there, yeah, the players are there. There's no doubt the players, the, mm -hmm. the players are the, the sort of players, the calibre of player that England need and that England would want to have if they're to taste based success. Upon, based on domestic form, yeah. And then there's a manager and how the manager might play. Yeah. The, it might play them, might organise them, might want them to play. There's always this but, and there was a but with Gabby there, and there's always a but with others. Well, because uh, Gav Southgate has set up his teams in a certain way and at times stolen defeat from the jaws of victory. And people will look at that and go, well, opportunities have been missed. And they'll give passes and they'll say that the Croatian World Cup semi-final was a first outing and he gets the benefit of doubt from that. And then they'll go on to the Italian uh, champions, uh, Euro, Euro, Euro championships uh, Wembley, in, yeah. in Wembley and missing the opportunity there. And it's an interesting set of answers. How do you define success? Because that's a, that's a circular conversation. How do you define success? I define success by winning a bloody tournament, Gareth. That's how I define success. So if you want a definition of success, there's the definition of it. Because Gareth was really kind of skirting around the argument. How do you define success? By setting yourself a low standard and managing to achieve it previously. That's what we've done. So he takes the low standards that have been done previously, the all-time record low of how low we could go by losing to Iceland in 2016, and builds from that. And by that measurement, yes, he can say success. And then he talks about scrutiny. Leave it off. Ask Ten Hag if he thinks he's got more scrutiny than the international manager once every couple of months that gets scrutinised. Do you think Ga that's nonsense? I think it's a clever political answer, which explains the reasons why he's in the FA job and the reasons why he got the job in the first place. The definition of success for England in this tournament, let's be clear, is to win it. Not to participate yes. in it. A good fight isn't one you put up. A good fight is one you bloody well, win. Simon, we're, we're lucky enough to be in Qatar. Look at Argentina, determination, yeah. togetherness, will, will to win the tournament. They found a way. The Martinez saves, the Messi goals, the Messi assists. They found a way. They were determined, we have to win this World Cup. That's what we want from England players. 
how determined are they? We have to win these Euros. Not the next one in two years, the World Cup. This one. This is it. This is the moment. And and Southgate, and the reasons why people question it, because people have, do have a bias about the fact that once upon a time he was a Middlesbrough manager. I think that's academic now. It still gets trotted out. Oh, look what he did domestically as a Middlesbrough manager. That's eight years ago. He's now operating on an interna- sta- international stage, and international managers are different from domestic managers. But you've said that before as well. I have said it before. Mm. Yeah, but that, I've said it years ago. But I'm not still saying it now, because it's not relevant anymore. Because ultimately, we're now judging him as an international manager. And we're now looking at the, at the tools of this trade, and we're looking at the key decisions that he'll make that he will or won't make. What I've seen from Southgate in recent times, and I quite like him. I quite like the way he addresses the media. I quite like the way he has some substance about him. And I like the fact that he's made decisions for this squad which are not based on any sentimentality. This is business mode. You, Rashford, didn't do it out. You, Grealish, not enough. Sorry, son, out. You, Madison, okay, you've got tickets on yourself, but you've not got tickets on this plane. Right? So here we go. We're in business mode. And I like that about him. Now, I want to see that at times in a game not, against Serbia and Denmark. They might be laborious games to get through because we should beat them on paper in Slovenia. When it comes to the big game, when we arrive against somebody that people go, mm, this is a pick em Portugal, game. Portugal, right. A pick em game. Right. This is when Southgate will be the difference. And that's when an international coach will make the difference rather than the players. And at that moment, we will know whether Gareth Southgate's going to win this tournament with England. And I've got a feeling that he might be a bit braver in this tournament than we've been in previous times. Because you know what? You're swinging for the bleachers and you've got the players there to do it. So why not go out swinging? Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.